My first film uh, was a Super 8 film I made when I was around seven or eight years old. Uh, I filmed a uh, man uh, with long blonde hair driving a tractor and uh, he was um, uh, plowing these uh, trees down. And uh, the finished film, I actually cut it in camera. Uh, I never edited it outside. And uh, then I took an album of uh, Johnny Be Good being sung by Johnny Winter and put them together and it worked great. The Dark Side is a unique film combining uh, a romantic comedy with a documentary about the largest residential fire in New York City since the Civil War. Um, it's a very unique film, uh, not only because of my filmmaking abilities, uh, but because of this moment in, in New York City history that I think uh, has uh, significance around the world. And uh, it's, a, it's a film very much worth seeing. Well, at any film festival, the European Independent Film Festival included, I always hope to have a good exchange with the audience, uh, to feel that I'm connecting with that audience. Uh, I'm particularly excited because it's in Paris, it's in Europe. Um, the film, I think, has a strong European dimension to it. Also, I uh, spent many years in Paris and I owe to the city of Paris uh, my education as a filmmaker just seeing films here. So to come and present it to this audience has a particular significance for me. I think the most ridiculous thing I've ever done while making a film is uh, flying sideways in a helicopter with the doors open. I've actually never seen the Games of Thrones. I have seen uh, The Wire, I have seen Mad Men, I have seen uh, The Sopranos, I have not been living under a rock. Um, I will say though, I think it's very interesting that at a film festival I'm being asked about a TV series. I really think it speaks to the moment we are, the, the rise of the importance of uh, television uh, for uh, filmmakers and filmmaking culture. Um, the fear had been, I think, 10 years ago that films would uh, lose their uniqueness, would be uh, consumed, uh, cannibalized in a way uh, by television and their language constrained. To some degree that may be true, but I think the more surprising and in a way interesting uh, result has been that the language of uh, television has really opened up and we're seeing these very creative, uh, unique um, television series uh, that uh, didn't exist before uh, so that this uh, crossing uh, between television and film ha has also had a, a very positive effect on what is now possible in the medium of television. Um, it never occurred uh, to me that you could have someone take off their clothes in a movie, but I think it's an interesting suggestion and I'd like to try it. If I had to spend my life eating chocolate, what kind of chocolate would it be? Um, uh, as for the uh, harshest critique I've received as a filmmaker, uh, I would say that it's uh, being ignored. I think uh, for any filmmaker, uh, I, or speaking for myself, uh, uh, vile criticisms, uh, insults are, uh, are as welcomed as uh, praise, uh, but the worst thing is just to be ignored. I think, I think the, thing, the best thing I've ever been told uh, about one of my films is by my 11-year-old daughter who uh, wished uh, she had been in it. Um, as to regarding whether or not I would want to be an accountant rather than a filmmaker, um, I'm very grateful for accountants. I, without them I could not uh, be a filmmaker, uh, but, um, and I'm, I'm grateful for surfers um, and <laughs> and all of these different professions. Uh, but I, I'm very happy being a filmmaker and please let me just go on being a filmmaker.